Hello and welcome to Allendorf, Cartago City. This motorhome I have in front of me is the Cartago Sea Tourer I148LE. This will cost 110,000 euros almost in this condition. 739 centimeters long, 227 by 289 empty weight from 2910 that's not including any of the extras and there's quite a few extras because you can see the base price is 95 and a half thousand so and you can put in four and a half ton bases but even uh even so you can see there's about one and a half tons or let's say up to one and a half tons of payload which is uh pretty good and uh you could even let's it is 150 liter Fresh water tank, 140 waste water tank, fuel tanks, 80 litres. Well, you can certainly carry all of them full and still have enough space to carry a garage full of Mars bars and cans of beer. So this vehicle here has the German layout at the back and it has this convenient sliding uh, staircase so you don't have to worry with ladders or anything of that nature just show you how this thing works I think this is quite clever to say the least it comes out like that it comes up right up to the door down here and somewhere there will be a cushion which fits in here and that allows you to have an enormous bed at the back now what if you want to get into here well you'd have to put that back down there you've got a wardrobe which unfortunately this doesn't lift up Looks, ugh, can't get it up but on the other side what this has got here is this clever thing here it says there see there's the clever thing just to demonstrate the clever thing that lifts up like that gives this enormous amount of it it is deep and there's plenty of space in there and if you don't want to open it this way, you can open it up like that. And there, that gets, and when you do that, the light comes on as well. Clever, eh? Because that often doesn't happen in uh, many, many vans. I like a little feature like that. That makes a huge amount of difference, in my opinion. So you've got storage there. We'll have a look at some more storage. But whilst I'm here, in the bed, let's get right up to the bed and have a look down to the front of the van and you can sort of see what's going on on the campsite or wherever you're parked up here there's a nice big skylight and i'll show you some storage in here so you've got a reasonable amount of space in there not much of a ledge on that though so thing is this notice how it's recessed back well, that's obvious or not but it's recessed back that means your stuff in any case is less likely to fall out it'll still fall out on the other hand up here there is a ledge there which is what a couple of centimeters maybe uh but i don't know what you're supposed to do in there that sort of that's that's beaten me that one and you've got these all the way around the same side as well and down here You've got a sort of a, a bit of a headboard here and you've got a mirror as well. So if you're frightened of ghosts, just look through there and if there's a ghost in your van, you won't see it. So they certainly thought of everything when they did this van. Up front, you can see there's an extra bed up there. So two beds in the van. Let's uh, come down and uh, admire this floor which is flat all the way to the front and it comes of course with storage so let's have a look in here this will give you there you have very deep storage there one at the back has the black tank but this one here has a huge amount of storage down there look at all that that's brilliant really You've got your water release uh, on the left hand side. Oh, it's not clear. There we go. And uh, we'll have a look at the outside as well. And I'm going to close the door behind me. 
Don't have a look at the door. And... Oops. Close. Yeah. And here we've got a bit of storage here as well. This is, this is a bit odd. See how that comes out like that. I think that's meant to be for shoes, but I don't know. I might be. I might be wrong. And there, you can also have a peek at what is in your in your double floor. So, uh, I'm going to do this in a different order to normal. I'm going to sit here on this chair like this and just admire the van. And I'm going to turn it around so you can see. There we go. There's me in this position at the front of the vehicle admiring it. And I've got to say that this is a pretty comfortable place to be in. Uh, I could do without this bed banging my head on it, but... That's just the way I am. Other people might want a bed, an extra bed in there. Right, so this gives you an idea showing you around. Uh, one or two other little features I'll show you. From the driving driver's position, we've got the front of the van sort of tapers. We've got these big bus mirrors on either side. We've got this, the integration of the living compartment with this um, sideboard here which integrates with the dashboard which i think is a very nice feature and there's a bit of a space down there for keeping whatever you want to keep down there and here's a bit of oh this comes up opens as well and that's very deep inside well they're very nice hinges as well so that gives you a little idea there and what could be in here oh it's where uh, that thing for the television goes. So, uh, let's come to the kitchen now. I did that a different order what I normally do. Just felt like it's I'll get a bit of change uh, in my life. Oh, I didn't show you this. Yeah, an extra wardrobe up there. And, which is convenient because the bathroom's just behind me. Three burners, large sink with a filter and storage below. And of course down here as well. What could be in here? That's the sinks there. See, they've used the sink very wisely. Let's see, get this down to show you the sink. I can't show you the sink, but anyway. But that's very good position. You've got your gas knobs there as well. So, uh, Let's have, oh, before we do that, Carthago have this thing called a coffee option. There you go. And you get one of these machines. Let's, I can't see the point of this, by the way, sorry. There's another thing. I suppose you can put, I just imagine things falling out of there. Or well, maybe they wouldn't. Maybe the ledge is sufficient. Depends if you're driving in Italy down the roads and the will everything will fall out. Lovely bathroom, in my opinion. There's not a huge amount of space when the door's closed. Now you might say this is I'm comparing it to other vehicles I've done in the past. But there you go. It's got a lock on the door if you want to lock the door, lock yourself in. Now as a he as far as headroom goes, there's a lot of space. And bear in mind I'm wearing my shoes and I'm standing on the duck board. But if you're using the toilet, it might be a little bit of a um, squash. Lovely moulded sink and storage under the sink. But wonderful mirror. Oh, I like I like little details such as that. You know, a place to leave you. I think it's got the Cartago logo there as well. Other death lefts do it nicely. Benny Ma does it nicely. There's a and the hooks. Uh, here we have freezer and fridge. And for those who say don't open the fridge door up, there you go. That's what it looks like inside. And this fridge will of course open two ways. Nice drawer there, using the space. And for those who want an oven, I suppose you could put the oven down there. Want to see the free freezer? There you go. Now. Uh, this is a new door introduced for the 2022 season. Double locking, 63 centimeters, so it's wider than previous doors. Comes with a window, safety door apparently. Got pockets in the door. That door is using 
I think that's really very functional. Uh, I'm very positive towards this door. Oh, it's got some more hooks there. Oh, I'm being too positive about this van. I better find something wrong with it. So, useful door. Bit of storage down there. Yeah, we've got this big garage, 350 uh, kilos go in there. And fortunately, there you go. there's something wrong with it. The, the door at the other side, it's not very wide. That, I'd rather have a, a full length one myself. Let's have a look at this. What's that there for? That's your water tank. Aha, in the garage. I can see the advantage of having the access to the water tank in the garage, but it's off the main chassis of the vehicle. I'll have to ask in alcohol when I'm there next if that's a good idea or not. So here we can have a look at the depth of the double floor. Oh, look at all that space in here. Ah, oh, batteries go down there. And, uh, no they don't. Yes they do, sorry, there's the battery. Sorry, I forgot where the batteries went. And, uh, but you can see the, the depth, the double floor, that's really, that's really very good. Stacks of stuff you can store in there. And just think, you know, I've got my winter stuff sort of stuck behind my seat. So I can more or less see it every day. I know it's still there. You've got something like that. You're living in the van. You can put all your cold weather gear in one place. Here, I'll show you the Sea Tourer with the queen bed as well, whilst we're here. And uh, so this one here will cost, look at that, 123,326, 760 centimetres, sorry, 761 centimetres long, 227 in width, and empty is three tonnes, so I'm even, so even, you could still put it on a three and a half tonne basis. You still drive it with a normal driving license. So, got all this space up front. You could do the same in the other van as well. I mean, the bed, you know, it's, an op it's optional if you want it or not. And here is the queen bed, very wide. Lots of space there. You've got extra chest of drawers below. There is the, 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 the shower. And the shower is part of the way of walking around the uh, the bed. So if somebody's using it, you'd have to walk around the other side. And here, this will close there like that. There's your toilet. And if you want to, you can also close this one as well. This thing here will pull across. And there's something I haven't released. What is it? It's this. Then that comes across like that. It is a little, admittedly, it is a little bit close to the edge, but all the same. There we go. Something like that. I'll put it up. The idea of having the television on the door, I don't know if that appeals to the people or not. I'm, uh, I'm sort of neutral on this subject. And I can see this still here. Uh, I can see this one here has missed the target a couple of times. And this clicks on by pushing that back like that. And that will eventually go on to there. Another nice molded sink. And uh, I wonder what that's there for. If anybody knows what that's there for, please write it down below. Other than that, similar floor, kitchen, and look, but, 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 see what this one's on. 
it's on the Mercedes. And this is a feature uh, for 2022. You can either have it on the Mercedes or on the Fiat. So, and uh, I'll show you the semi-integrated seat over here. This one here, there you go. So you can see it's a semi-integrated 148 LEH. So it's a semi-integrated, so it should be cheaper. This one is going to cost 97,390, 746 centimeters in length. And so this one here is on the Fiat semi, uh, sorry, not semi, it is automatic, it's fully automatic, uh, gearbox. And this thing comes with a, a bed up here, which will not activate there. Let's see if it's working. It's not coming down. So what they probably, you can see there's electric is going through it. I know what they've done. They've taken the fuse out to stop people playing with it, which is uh, understandable. So, uh, and a similar double floor as well. So that gives you, there's plenty more uh, motorhomes here, as you can see, in the, in the showroom. And uh, I shall be doing the lot in the time that I am here. But uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that of interest. And uh, if you did, then you might want to uh, subscribe. And that would be nice for me. So, uh, All the best from Cartago at Aulendorf in Germany.